my, I, I simply raise my hand while I'm, I'm moving. I mean, I'm, I'm on my way. But I start out, my palm is just parallel. My palm is parallel to his forearm. Now, when I walk around, my arm, effectively, my arm gets about that much longer because of the muscles. In other words, See, there's, there's a force exerted on that just because I walk around because my arm just got longer because now I'm at the ridge hands to the top. Also, there's a little bit, I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say a rack and pinion steering or a rack and pinion gear phenomenon, which you probably don't know what I'm talking about. But a, a, a rack is a linear gear with teeth in it, and a pinion is a round gear with teeth in it that fit that fit into the teeth of the linear gear. And that's what some and that's what's in a lot of the cars, because then you can stick the steering wheel on either side. And it still works. You know. Uh, so you know the Japanese came up with that a long time ago because they sell left-handed cars and right-handed cars. So they can't rebuild the car so you just move the steering wheel over or not. So but anyway so it's a rack and pinion, so and that that causes that, that, that makes a ro a rotational movement turn into a linear movement. That's what a, what a rack and pinion does. So he's coming, and you see with the with the little bit of little bit of friction. There's a little bit of friction here, and the sweatier he is, the less there is. But there's a little bit of friction here, and so as I as I rotate, and it's not it's not this, it's this. My body rotated, so it, it, so now then, there's a there's a, a small force this direction on him, and a small force that direction because my arm got longer, and the rack and pinion thing came into it, and he's he's and he's being taken off balance, down his ankle bone line, and then 